or what have you but um, I'm not really sure how it all works how much you were actually able to sort of get away with by hiding your voice and addressing it differently and acting differently but in fact still being your true self but sort of showing an exterior to the world how much do they actually know how much are they, they allowed to know how much can the other people on the other side of the battle be actually briefed unless you give it to them so to speak I am not uh, insane I'm not normal either uh, I have seen I've seen patterns of things that have happened in my life and continue to happen. I've seen the other side. I've been places and cities and alone. And I've seen the, the control. The I believe I'm living in the center of that control. Um, probably more focused out toward California or some of the major urban centers, but. Uh, Extending across the United States, essentially, uh, I'm sure that it exists all over the world. But this is the place that, for some reason, I was incarnated, and for some reason, I'm here, and for some reason, I am the opposite of what they want to have happen with human beings. Uh, I don't know if I am waking up, and this reality is my own creation, or if we all share the same reality, or if we all have different realities but interface and I'm reflecting in someone else's at a different time and they're in another timeline experience the narrow thing they need to receive and want to see them I'm seeing a reflection of who they would be in my world like uh, you know I could be they, they could be doing their own thing in their own universe and if they need to meet me it's it's me at the same time but it's only a reflection of me and in fact the real me would be me now which might explain why I have so much power which might have been granted it might be that we're all in the same reality or the same universe and that we're in fact separated by vibrational differences, uh, spatially manifesting frequency resonance vibrations as we call it, to where we don't really interact the, the ones that are, unless we're meant to, uh, the ones, or there's something keeping us from interacting, which is another possibility. Some black magic might be separating people, or the very system of this this uh, industrial matrix, this uh, mind control grid, uh, and these grids uh, are actually designed to keep us away from each other. Uh, whether that's engineered by some sort of uh, Borg, nanotechnology implants going on, or spirits. Uh, I don't understand everything that's going on. All I know is that it's happening. My name at birth was Luke whoa, Irving Crisco. I do not use that name anymore because it is dangerous for me to use that name. People hear that name and they get afraid. Uh, it attracts, I don't know if there's been voodoo put on it or just the fact of being born as I am and having been under that name, but it, it seems to attract a lot of trouble into my life. It seems to sort of expose me to the matrix. Uh, so I've, I've changed my name. I've uh, sort of had a nickname for a long time. It was Omni as I began to travel uh, before my basic power was given to me, uh, which I might have always had, but the ritual itself to me back that power to me, was, uh, was not given to me at that point, but I was using the name on me to the idea of having a person, uh, which is more than just a new age teaching, it is really a basic concept to spirituality and eternity that we've got something out there, working for it. My face is so, uh, so Omni, I, I felt like Omni was the right word for me, and I began to use that word as a name, as a nickname. And um, there have been times in my life where I would tell people that my name was Omni, or that that's the name I like to go by. But it wasn't until recently that I truly um, began to shift my identity completely. It's really difficult to talk about all this, but yes, I, I've begun to shift my... I am a different... I am presenting myself in a different way. I'm the same soul, but uh, yes, I, I mastered the, the... Not master, I can't really say that. Perhaps even some Brits haven't mastered the, uh, the true British ways. But uh, yes, I have I have come to a ability to use a different arc saint uh, and sustain that for long periods of time. Uh, I... Um, what I am, this is what I do. I, 
I know that I, mean, I really don't know what people will think of this, or, but I suppose most importantly is why I think of it. If it can help me to maintain sanity or help me to explain my situation to others, I believe that it's important to communicate, present, communicate, and I will work on my materials. I can prove my claims. I can prove my claims. That's a very important uh, aspect of it. I think ultimately uh, reaching someone's world with this information. They did it a long time since 2004, but the work, the spiritual work that I do, it's very, very difficult. I don't know if other people could sort of handle this. If I was chosen for it, if I'm the only one that can do it, if I earned it somehow, I don't know. I don't know if I earned it in the past life or now. But I don't have none to throw but, down your sorry. way. So it's just the accent was getting to me there. Anymore. It's, it's, it's not important. Uh, I'm not having to convince anyone right now. But so anyway, I tell, I've changed my birthday around as well. I'm trying to change everything around uh, the way I dress. So I'm trying to fit in. I have to do this ritual. It all depends on it. Uh, my world depends on it. I believe people. Oh, I need some rest on, Especially the laws of spiritual beings, which influence the laws of other material beings and the plane of, of existence of the game, the set, the chessboard, if you will. I was told at a certain point in my life, after having asked for this gift, to, to do a certain ritual. But this is after I've been testing many, many times, having been traveling across the US, and not so in my soul, gotten involved with darkness. I play my music It is true that I am, I am not, not feeling a lot of support in my life right now. I do, I do feel. I don't have uh, go where I will go just as well. any, anyone that really knows the situation or perhaps they're not allowed to know it or acknowledge it. Uh, I don't know if this is just the States. It's like I know that it's different in Europe. I've met people. It's, it's very difficult here in the States for someone like me uh, to, to live and to have friends and to be who I am. And, uh, to have experienced amount of suffering and attacks that I've experienced is beyond whoa, 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 my comprehension and also but also to have experienced the amount of energy that's gone through me and worked through me is beyond my comprehension and so my comprehension is not important and nor is my um my ability to put something in a box and say this is right or wrong or this is okay or this is not okay uh, camera is good. Uh, I think it's going, it's going to help my life. It's going to help me. I, 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 there's no way for me to lose sanity. I believe I'm probably more sane as a result of what I've had really, having seen what I've seen. I've seen, I've seen and experienced than most people will ever be in their life because I've seen what where insanity comes from. Next time the woods won't make it out of my mouth. Do what next they time do and why I do what I do and who I am. However, this will help to help me with the stress to where I didn't have to take extreme actions to end the suffering I'm experiencing. I can simply deal with that stress and maintain a vibration of positive, positive outlook and actually manifest uh, connections with other human beings on a realistic level. Um, work, this has affected all areas of my life. I'm not able to because I've got to do this ritual each night, um, almost every night. It's really, um, works like in a three-day cycle, and then around the full moon, the day of the full moon, plus three days on either side. All, all those nights are ritual days, or days when I must file this energy and put it into the uh, grid. And those are the nights <laughs> that I must do this, and so obviously I cannot work, nor would reality or the higher powers allow me to work if I were to. I, probably get fired for no reason. Um, I Now, in the States, there's a sort of a matrix going on where you've got completely mind-controlled morons that never left their own town, sellouts that have all the full-time jobs, full-time day jobs. And then you've got like a bit of temporary work in construction, 
uh, that is daytime work and that's really all there is and that's mostly taken by the 60 million plus immigrants that have come across the border in the last 20 years, 60 to million, perhaps more. Having the accident has helped with that. It's helped me to find work because they believe that I'm illegal. I've been doing the accident, uh, got better at it, and I've been doing it for the last uh, about two months here. And I believe that I've had better luck finding work. Um, it's a very difficult life I live, and uh, I, I disown my family. They are not supportive in any ways. Do not. They offer the minimal support, and psychologically, it's it's not worth. It's it's as if they're not my family. Uh, almost like a lot of times, I compare, like anyone does, to myself to certain movies and films. 